What was the best day of your life by Alex Chico? Well, the best day of my life was nothing special. Nothing special actually happened, but I particularly remember one day when I was in Los Angeles. Uh, I finished six months ago, six months previous that day, I finished the Mr. War competition. And in that competition, I met a lot of friends. It was in the Philippines, in, uh, in Manila. And I also met one guy in the final day. At the final day, we actually created a, a good relationship together. And uh, he was Dario from Honduras, Mr. War Honduras. There was one guy representing each country and I was representing Italy. It was a competition, modeling competition. And in the end, I was at the stage with this guy and we talked each other, at each other and he said that he has a dream to become an actor and now he lives in Hollywood, in LA. And I was like, what? This is also my dream. But you are far, uh, you're way further than me because I still live in Italy. I just want to come to you and see how the life in LA works. And he says, yes, of course, come whenever you want. And so I went there. <laughs> I went there just even six months later. Uh, I just packed my luggage, bought a ticket and went there. And it was one of my first uh, trips on my own. I went to Miami and I went to uh, Manila for the two modeling competitions that I did in my life uh, alone. But when I was there, there were always people, there were always, you know, 70, 80 guys like me. So it was always, yes, I was alone, but we were all together. But this one, I was completely alone, not actually sure what I would have found in LA, but I found that Dario and Martin, his manager, uh, really kind and really loving people, uh, helping me and we they took me at the airport we went there and during these 15 days that I was in LA I learned a lot I also uh, went to all the modeling agencies I made a vlog about it so I'll link it down in the description if you want to check out the LA vlog but what happened during these days uh, I was just completely stressed out because uh, it was I was really happy and really excited but of course, in 15 days, I wanted to do everything that I could, uh, not resting for a single minute. So I wanted to go full in, all in with all my energies. But one day after maybe 10 days there, I had one day for free because I did everything that I had to do. I just had one thing maybe in the evening that I had to do, but it wasn't nothing special. So I had some spare time and one place that it was so famous and I still didn't see it was Venice Beach. So that day, unfortunately, Dario couldn't take me there, couldn't bring me there and Martin as well. So I was on my own, they had to work. I said, you know what, let's just do it on my own. Let's just go and see Venice Beach on my own. I, for my entire life, always had somebody close to me. I never was, I never did something just on my own. Uh, so I went there on Venice Beach and there was this huge avenue. I don't know if you know Venice Beach, but there, there is this huge street with all the people, all crazy people, the beach and the sun and these stores, the little stores that sell everything. And I just went there and walking all on my own and I felt freedom. I really felt freedom for the first time. I said, you know what? I'm here on my own. I can do whatever I want. I can do um, I can go inside a store, which I did, uh, a candy store, and sit there and check the store for how long I want. There's no one I have to take responsibility for. There's no one I have to think of what they want to do. It's just myself and it's just what I, I want to do. The freedom of doing whatever I want, meet whoever I want, being open to the world. Because if you are on your own, you are open to the world. You're open to a million possibilities. If you are in two people, even if it's just two or three people or a group of people, of course you create a little bubble and it's really hard to open up for the world, for everything around you. So it's very different. 
And so it was my first experience, my first real experience on my own. And I was there and I went to the candy store. I visited all the shops that I wanted to do and I didn't have nothing to do. I just was free. And I went there and I remember this particular moment. I sit on a bar, on a simple bar there, outdoor. I order a hot dog and I was just eating this hot dog and I was like, damn, this is happiness. This is joy. This is life. And I felt so free and I felt so good. Nothing special happened, but it was one of my first experiences on my own. And it was so good. In the end, I just sit there. I also met some people. They also took pictures of me because I needed someone to take pictures of me. I took pictures of them and it was great. It was an incredible day. I met a lot of people. It was very nice. In the end, I came back and everything was good. Then when I came back from uh, LA, there was the pandemic. And of course, sitting one year at home on my own, I uh, explored my inner uh, vulnerability, my inner potential. I did all the vlog, all the yoga uh, practices and, and everything I did. I discovered meditation, I discovered yoga and all the things that you watch in my other videos and my vlogs. So I discovered my inner and alone, lonely uh, world. I created my own world that first, uh, I didn't even know what it was. I couldn't even watch a single movie on my own because I thought it was, a, uh, it was a waste of time because you have to share an experience to truly live it. Now, after the whole pandemic, the whole experience that started with this single day in LA, I created my own world and that day was my first experience, my first step inside creating my own world with happiness, joy and everything from within without the exterior help, without help from anyone else. Just living happiness, happiness, joy, power, strength, freedom and love all created by my own experience by myself. And during the pandemic, I explored that uh, thing. I explored that and now I'm slowly growing internally as well externally too but it was really an awakening it was really illuminating for me an alignment not an alignment but it was really uh, a very powerful day that made me understood a lot moral of the story you were born you was born alone on this planet you will die alone uh, so learn to create your own world before sharing it with others learn to create your own experience of life as you like it uh, without being conditioned uh, by everything external it's all the keys are all here inside here so that's it this was my uh, the best day of my life nothing special but it was uh, it was a key moment in my life.